Asbury Park Boardwalk, every year they put up a holiday tree in the Grand Arcade of the historic Convention Hall. But this year, the tree breaks convention. News 12's Brian Donahue went to check it out. I got my Christmas tree this weekend, a real fresh cut one as usual, because for me, there's no substitute for the real thing. Which is why my Grinch feathers got ruffled when I heard that the Asbury Park Boardwalk this year had replaced their usual fresh cut tree with one made of cardboard? Modern. Modern, but not to my taste, I'm afraid. I like a bit of greenery. Natural life. <laughs> yeah, the corrugated tandem bomb has become a talker in the media, making headlines from Washington, D.C. to Seattle, with some aghast at the break from tradition. Frankly, the pictures on my phone didn't make it look very nice, so when I got to the Grand Arcade and started polling folks at the busy Holiday Bazaar, I braced for some True Jersey snark. But a holiday miracle happened. There wasn't any. Yeah, everybody was like, it looks like uh, used Amazon boxes was what everybody was saying, but I think it's a great idea. One after another, people told me how much they loved the cardboard tree. Well, my husband said, you go check out the funky tree, and I didn't, I didn't know it was going to be different this year, and it's very cool. No, it's beautiful. It's different. It kind of looks like, what, what is the, what is the, um... Well, like origami or something? No. Yeah, what? It looks like an octopus. In my informal poll, 30 people, only three said they didn't like it. This doesn't say the warmth and the love. That I don't really get anything from this I don't, I don't even know, really. It doesn't look like a tree to me. Seems the more the world questions Asbury's tree, the more Asbury embraces it. Ah, people got to get over tradition. That gets easier to do when you hear the story behind the sculpture. Made by two local artists, it was an idea hatched out of a concern that a real tree might not be easy to find this year. The design is meant to reflect the ocean, Asbury's architecture, and its musical history. And at its base is a gift stand, sending a portion of its proceeds to local nonprofits. Try to humbug that. Now that after I read the little um, description of what it stood for, I think that's the way to go. I wasn't, I didn't think I was going to like it. Someone sent me a picture of it and I was, you know, in the bah humbug crowd. But once you're here and you see it. I think it's really nice. I think it represents Asbury very well. And frankly, this is a boardwalk where even when they had a real cut tree, Santa Claus arrived at the tree lighting ceremony in a leather jacket riding a motorcycle. If you're pining for tradition in a town that prides itself on being funky, cutting edge, and a little weird sometimes, you are barking up the wrong piece of cardboard. Some people are, some people are not into the cardboard tree. They, they want a more traditional, real tree. Oh, well, they can go somewhere else then, can't they? Oh, and indeed they can. I'm Brian Donahue. That's Positively New Jersey. The 17-foot tall tree was created by Asbury Park artists Bradley Hoffer and Porkchop, whose many murals can also be seen on the boardwalk and all around Asbury Park.